Maria Menounos. I am Kevin Nagaro, Maria Menounos' husband and son-in-law to Costas Menounos. My dad, he's been type 1 diabetic for 45 years now. An immigrant from Greece. Uh, his name is Konstantinos Menounos. We call him Costa, or other people call him Costa. I call him dad. But when he came to this country, the biggest problem was he was very strict with the no sugar. And my dad was a manual laborer. He was a janitor. He was a carpet installer. He was a handyman. He was very physical. So his body would drop into low glucose levels constantly because he didn't have enough energy source to sustain his levels. And so we were the family where the fire trucks and the ambulances were always at our house because my dad would fall into like low blood sugar attacks or even low blood sugar comas. We literally almost lost him. They had to revive him one time. When I first was introduced to diabetes, I was just shocked at how quickly the glucose levels could drop and how quickly the person could go from being completely coherent to unconscious and then what it would take to try to revive them. I had already come out to LA and I was, you know, on the Today Show at the time, hosting and reporting and all of that, where my dad flatlined, they found him foaming at the mouth, he was gone. And they wouldn't even move him for two hours from that bed at home. The EMTs just had to work on him there. And I remember going to my husband, Kevin, who's here with us and saying, you know, it was just a mess. And I said, what do we do? All of it was, was shocking to understand that the loved ones are really almost have to be a walking alarm clock, so to speak. Soon after that, I said, I don't think my dad really understands diabetes well enough to manage this well. He has a language barrier and they just kind of made do throughout life. I said, let me put together a diabetes boot camp at my house. And Dr. Ann Peters was part of that boot camp. And she was the one who introduced us to Dexcom. And she said, this will help you. And it will help your dad. He doesn't have to finger prick anymore. And you will actually be able to watch his levels on your phone. And now your mom and you can sleep. I think my first reaction to the idea of Dexcom and CGM was complete joy. It's exhausting having to live in fear and having to worry. So for us, we were like, what? There's something that can help us? Costa and I, our hobby is renovations. We do a lot together. We have a lot of fun. And uh, it's a struggle to keep his glucose levels up. But with Dexcom, we have that little built-in alarm and it goes off several times a day. As soon as we hear that beep, we get in there and say, Costa, and he's like, oh, you're right. Me being in California, my dad being in Connecticut, it gives me a lot of relief to know that I'll get an alert if something's happening and I will be able to take action if he can't. It's beautiful that we've educated people that diabetes is something you can live with and live a thriving life. Game changers, it's an understatement. He gets to live a normal and, and really robust life. Um, this is somebody that at 76 is more active than a 30 year old. And, and I'm telling you, having the Dexcom is a really big part of that. With Dexcom, we were able to take a breath and we were able to rely on something to help us have a little bit more peace in our lives.